I recently watched the book with the square pumpkin for the first time on Netflix and I kind of fell in love because I love Halloween, I love pumpkins. And then I discovered Spookly and the Christmas Kittens and I thought, Pumpkin, Christmas, Kittens, you have my full attention. This is very poorly rated on IMDb. This has 3.8 out of 10, which needless to say is not a good rating, although it's only across 70 ratings. So it's not the biggest pool of opinions. It was released originally in 2019, directed by Bernie Denk, written by Joe Traino and Jim Lewis. And we have as the voice of Spookly, uh, Sonia Ball, and Vlast Ravana voices, uh, or is the narrator. And basically we have Spookly um, helping out this green cat. And this green cat is, is given the name Mistletoe. He's green and his tail is like a green and red stripy candy cane. That's what it reminds me of. He's a very festive cat and he's given this beautiful little collar that's got his name mistletoe on it but something happens and he forgets who he is or what his name is and forgets how to get home and Spookly obviously seeing a kindred spirit in this visually unusual character realizes that he should take it upon himself to help mistletoe get back home and eventually probably about halfway through it's not just mistletoe who needs help but three stray kittens and the, the way these kittens come into it is quite peculiar and I wasn't really sure that was the best way to bring them into it but once they come along my heart melted and the reason I say that my heart melted once the kittens came along is because mistletoe is not a very likable character I found him easy to dismiss I thought he was very confrontational you could argue that it was because he, you know, he was going through issues and he was lost and confused and didn't know what to do. Maybe it was a product of that, but I find that he could have been nicer. I don't think it was necessary to make him quite so standoffish. Maybe the fact that he isn't readily willing to accept Spookley's help gives us the message, which is sometimes you have to do the right thing, even if it's difficult. IMDB says that this teaches us that it's never wrong to do the right thing, which is fair enough. And yeah, maybe maybe Mistletoe's personality was essential for that message to be 100% clear, but I just think it would have been a lot more enjoyable if Mistletoe had been an enjoyable character to watch and if I actually wanted to help Mistletoe. For me to look at a cat, even an animated green cat, and not really want to give them my 100% assistance and attention... It's a bit more difficult, but the kittens are ridiculously adorable and I absolutely love them and I cared for their welfare and I wanted the best for them. I don't know why this was only 3.8 out of 10. I thought it was, well, the, the animation quality was lovely. The songs were great. I liked the soundtrack. The animation quality is brilliant. You know, voice, voice narration and, and acting, no problems at all. The development of the narrative was pretty good. The message was very clear. My only personal issue is the character of Mistletoe because I wanted Mistletoe to be like Mistletoe to be likable and nice and friendly. And obviously there's some character development there. This isn't the whole story. But I just think I wanted Mistletoe to be a gorgeous, adorable, huggable kitten, not a cat with claws. So for me, there's not really that much wrong with it. Do I prefer it to the first film? No, which is unusual because it's Christmas and it's cats. But I just think the first film is a bit more unique. Spookly is more interesting in the first film. It is, after all, his story. But ultimately, if you like the first film and you've been put off watching this by the ratings, don't worry. I don't personally think it will ruin your opinion or colour your view of Spookly at the moment. I actually really enjoyed it. Not perfect but certainly unique, very different, and at under an hour in length, what have you got to lose? Spookly and the Christmas Kittens is not that bad at all. <laughs>